For today's short devotional, we want to take another look at the life of David, reading to you from 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 18 through 20. We read this. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives, and nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken from them. David recovered all. Then David took all the flocks and herds that they had driven before those other livestock and said, This is David's spoil. Again, that's 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 18 through 20. When David and his men were away from their home city of Ziklag, the Amalekites attacked. They burned the city, took everything of value, and kidnapped all the women and children. David turned his heart back towards God, and together with his men, they pursued the Amalekites who attacked. 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 18 through 20 tells us what happened when David finally caught up with them. David and his men came upon the Amalekites as they had a big party celebrating their victory over David's city and others like it. There they were. Those Amalekites were having their celebration, and David surprised them. They figured that all the Philistine and Israelite armies were far off to the north, preparing to fight each other. So early in the morning, when the Amalekites were hung over from all their partying the night before, David and his men attacked, and they kept it up until the job was finished. At the end of it all, David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. That's what it says for us in 1 Samuel chapter 30. Now, everything that the enemy took, David took back, plus more. God gave him a complete victory because David strengthened himself in the Lord his God, as it says in verse 6 of 1 Samuel chapter 30. David inquired of the Lord, as it says in verse 8 of 1 Samuel chapter 30. David did what God told him to do, and David showed unexpected care and kindness to others along the way. In all of this, God's promise was proved true. When David inquired of the Lord after the Amalekites had taken everything and everyone from Ziklag, God promised this, you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Again, that's in verse 8 of 1 Samuel chapter 30. That promise was fulfilled exactly, but it wasn't fulfilled as David sat back passively and said, all right, God, now you can do it. No, the Lord fulfilled his promise, but he used David's actions to fulfill the promise. God's promise didn't exclude David's cooperation. The promise invited his cooperation. At the end of it all, the victorious soldiers of Israel and under David piled up everything that they took from the Amalekites. The pile included what they took from David's city, but even more. Then David's soldiers said, This is David's spoil. God gave David even more than what he promised. He received spoil from the battle beyond what was taken from Ziklag. This was blessing straight from the grace of God. Now, we should come to Jesus and by our own choice give him everything we have, everything we are. You see, we give our life to him and we say, this is Jesus's spoil. We give our gifts and our abilities to him and we say, this is Jesus's spoil. We give our time to Jesus and we say, this is Jesus's spoil. We give our possessions to him and say, this is Jesus's spoil. We give our praise to him and we say, this is Jesus's spoil. You see, we should let everything in our life be a trophy and a reward for Jesus, who has so beautifully and sweetly conquered us by his love and his sacrificial service. Let it be that way for us 
today.